Hey you guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to update my fragrance tray. And if you hadn't caught the last video where I added all of these fragrances and removed others, I will link that above in the cards. Now that it's starting to get a little bit nicer out, I wanted to change up some of the more wintry, heady fragrances of the ones I'm just not really enjoying as much wearing to bed with some things that I know I'm going to absolutely love for the springtime. So I thought I'd bring you guys along with me while I change out this tray again. Before we get started, I'm gonna share with you guys what I have all over my nails. It is called I've Seen Better Days by a company called Nailed It. Now I did pick this up in my polish pickup for the month of February, which of course I will also link in the cards above. This is an indie brand nail polish house from Hawaii. So I'm super happy with this. I love the shiftiness. I am a shimmer girl. With all that aside, let's go through what I actually have on this tray and then I'll show you guys what I'm going to replace it with. So we'll start from the back here. We have Gold Couture by Juicy Couture and this in my friends. I, at one point I had like, I think five or six Juicy Coutures. I narrowed it down to two. These two here, which I'll go to the second one shortly, which is also on my tray. This is so good. If you love Gourmands, it's not going to super break the bank. You can get a smaller size. This is the largest size I believe it comes in. This is a designer. This is Gwen Stefani or Juicy Couture. This is wonderful. <laughs> I love this one. And so that was on my tray. And then the next Juicy Couture that was also on my tray, the only two I kept, was Viva La Juicy Juicy Couture Noir. And this one's just got very much the same essence as the original Juicy Couture, but it's just bumped up in, in intensity. As you guys can see, the color of this is just so girly, so beautiful. <laughs> and of course the bow ties on both of these two are quite large. <laughs> And in charge. I love this one for the evening. I think this is just slightly, it's more floral than the first one that's less gourmand, but I absolutely love this one. So that has been on my tray. Let's move over to Fancy, which is by Jessica Simpson. I don't like this one as much as everybody who has reviewed it has loved it. I have been trying to wear this. Um, huh, I'm not really a big fan of it. It's not an expensive perfume. I will use it rather than sell it because it's not something that's hard to find. You can get this on the gray market very easily for very inexpensive. So I'll find a way of using it. Plus the sprayer, I will say it was, I'm not going to spray, but this was really stiff or it still is really stiff. I haven't figured out why. Anyway, so maybe it's just my bottle, you know, probably dumb luck from, for me. This is very vanilla like, but not quite the vanilla I want to smell. It's not a gourmand vanilla. It's got way more floral notes in it than I anticipated after hearing so many people's review on it. That was on my tray there, <laughs> moving along. Something that so disappoints me because I had this one originally came out. Now this is Elizabeth and James Nirvana Bourbon. I actually love this when it first came out. Now it's been sadly discontinued for many years, but you can still find it on the gray market, which I have picked it up a couple times. Unfortunately, like I am I'm kind of holding it like this. I am down to technically, I'm, I'm less than half of a bottle at this point. It's on an angle. This is not the same fragrance that I remember. I've told you guys about this before. I loved this bourbon one. It was my favorite of all the different variations that they did. This was very gourmand, sexy, that kind of thing. Very unisex. It's very much pencil shavings with a little bit of an now in it. So I am very disappointed. So I was trying to use this up as much as I can. And let me see here. I'm sort of looking when it's straight up. I'm about here in the way of where my bottle is when it stands up, right? So anyway, this is definitely not a fragrance I would wear in the summertime. The packaging itself is very sleek. Moving on to something I really love. I'm really enjoying Clean Reserve. And this one here I had on the tray was the Rain Scent. This is what I love just spraying on me after I get out of the shower or if I just have to go to the grocery store, anything like that, because I don't know, it's just so simple, so clean. And if you have a workplace where it really prohibits you from wearing fragrance, like I work for the federal government, so everywhere you go, you're not allowed to wear fragrance. <laughs> but no one will know except for you. You smell good. You smell clean. You smell fresh. So I've really enjoyed that one. I've been actually using quite a bit of it out of all of the ones that are my tray. Another one that I have, this is the third bottle of this size that I've gone through. Ariana Grande's Cloud. This is what I love wearing to bed. And it is a lavender marshmallow yumminess. Like it's just the right amount. The reason why I don't wear this outside of going to sleep 
is it does not last long on me. So it lasts long enough for me to spray this right before I go into bed. I lay in bed, I watch a little YouTube, fall asleep, and I don't smell it on my clothes the next day. Whereas a lot of the ones at the back that we first talked about, the Juicy Couture, those ones I could still smell on my pajamas the next morning. So I love this one. I will continue to purchase this one. I, um, yeah, I love this one for the bedtime. So that's when I use that one. And then we have another very hyped up fragrance <laughs> from the fragrance community, especially in 2020, Lalique Soulier. And yeah, I, no, I don't like it that much. <laughs> I was really hoping I would love this for this time of year, for the spring and so on. It's got this like, you can take this off and use it as a bracelet, anklet, something. I don't know. The bottle is stunning. It looks so nice on your, like, you know, on your counter, on your uh, dresser, that kind of thing, or vanity. It, it's nice, but it's not my favorite. And again, this is another one I, have oh, got cat fluff. <laughs> this is another one of my fragrances. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep. It's not expensive. Again, you can find it on the gray market for very inexpensive. So yeah, I don't know how long I'll have that in my collection. And the last two items I have on my tray currently are from Rituals, which I never knew anything about Rituals until I went to Europe. So when I came back from Germany with my husband in January slash February of 2023, I noticed when we were in Germany that the Rituals is like a the body shop, but an upper scale, more mature kind of store, but essentially selling very similar type of items. Anyway, I loved these two fragrances. I ended up getting actually a third one in a larger bottle, but these two I got in small. This one here, um, Eau, de, Eau de Art Orient. This was very nice, but it's getting a bit heavy for the spring now. This one, I will say this again and again, if I can go to Europe again and see a ritual store, I'm going in and getting the biggest bottle they have. Now, the sticker is covered up. It's Fleur de la Himalayas, I think, but the there's a stamp over the sticker that you can't really see the full name, but I think that's what it is. This is perfect for spring. This, as if you can't tell, this is gonna stay on the tray. <laughs> and this has actually a lot of floral in it, which I am not a floral gal, but I love this. It's very girly. I absolutely love it. With that being said, some of these items are going to stay and some of them are gonna leave my tray possibly forever <laughs> and very possibly for some of these not till this time next or till like February of next year. So I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to remove. So the first thing I'm going to remove is Viva La Juicy Juicy Couture Gold. That is because it's a little heavy for this time of year. So that's fine. And same with Noir. I also really love this. This is not leaving my collection, but rather it's just gonna go and hibernate for a little bit. When the weather gets cooler, I think that's when I will use that. I am going to put this away and I think by next year, I should be able to finish this. I hope I'm not gonna buy any more of these in hopes that it smells like the original that I had <laughs> way back in the day because I can't, I can't do that to myself anymore. I loved this fragrance back in the day. I will not purchase it anymore. It may find its way back on this tray February of 2025. Who knows? <laughs> I think with this one, you guys could probably tell I'm taking this off of my tray and I don't know if it's actually going to remain in my collection anymore. Lalique Soulier. I do not like this. I don't know. There's just nothing like, oof, you know, like nothing that's grabbing me, telling me that I have to wear this. So I don't find myself reaching for it. This ritual is the Eau de Orient. I'm going to remove this from the tray only because of the season. This is quite heavy. This is great for the winter time, but I think for what I need right now, it being more springtime, we are in April now, that I think I'm going to remove this from the tray so I can make room for others. And the last one I'm going to actually remove from the tray is Fancy from Jessica Simpson. Not that the scents were similar, but they were both very much hyped up in the fragrance world in 2020 especially. I waited a long time to get them. I got them and I'm not impressed. So I don't really love either of those. So yeah. So anyway, so the ones that are staying, as you guys can see, are Ariana Grande's Cloud. And we're gonna keep the Clean Reserve rain scent and rituals and again i think it's fleur de Himalayas. that's a great scent so let's go and i'm going to share with you guys what i'm putting on to the tray the first one okay first of all let me just say they're all mark jacobs because mark jacobs for me is just 
epitomizes spring. It is the they they are the, the best fragrances for spring in my opinion. For a person who is not a floral lover, I feel like Marc Jacobs does a great job. I have brought over the Daisy by Marc Jacobs Oh So Fresh Days. Now this was a limited edition, this particular packaging, um, but I still see this available. So if you see this, they have three different types. They have, this is the Oh So Fresh. They also have the Love. Then they have the regular Daisy size. I've seen all three of them still available all over the place. So you'll probably still be able to see this even at Costco sometimes when they have fragrances. I've seen this available there as well. Um, this is a great one. It's got a slight little bit of apricot and of course some florals, but again, florals that I can tolerate. So there is that. Let's move on to another Marc Jacobs. So speaking of the Daisy, this, so this is the Daisy version of Skies. So this is Daisy, my Marc Jacob in Skies. I have the Daisy in Skies, but I also have the Oh So Fresh version, which I prefer a little bit more, but I, that is so hard to find. So, and I have a backup of that, but I'm not willing to put it on the tray to use quite often yet. But anyway, this is a gorgeous fragrance. And if you're not familiar with Marc Jacobs, all of his fragrances have these types of lid. Each one is gonna look a little bit different. I mean, you can look in a, a wall, entire room of fragrances and not see the names and you would know that all of these are Marc Jacobs. That's synonymous to it. But anyway, love this one. Nice and fresh. And then the next Marc Jacobs is in a love collection. So again, so we have the love. This is what the loves look like. This is what just regular Daisy looks like. And oh so fresh bottles look like this. So that way you guys have an idea. So this one's like another great one. I feel like this is a little bit more fruity, a little bit more vanilla. I find the love versions have a little bit more vanilla in them, a little more sweetness. So I added this one to the tray and the very last one I'm adding to my tray, I just picked up. So this is also a love. This is but the Marc Jacobs Love Pop. So I, yeah, I have to. <laughs> so I have been wearing this around the house quite a bit lately and I'm really having fun with it. Um, it doesn't last particularly long. None of the Marc Jacobs ones do, but again, if I'm just spraying to go out the door or if I am coming out of the shower and just gonna be doing some work around the house, these are the type of fragrances I wanna pull for for the next couple months because they're just so springy and so cute and I just love them. So I'm, I'm not even sure how I'm gonna organize this. So there are seven different fragrances on this tray. Now I'm trying, or at least I was trying to use one fragrance per day. Yeah, we'll see how that works out. And then in the next couple of months, as the weather gets warmer, I say that when I woke up this morning, it's we're into, we're into April, it's past April Fools. <laughs> I had snow on my car, so, and that was not even expected in our forecast. Once it starts warming up even more, I, of course, will trade this out for more of a summer kind of fragrance tray. So that's everything, you guys. These are the fragrances I'm gonna wear from my tray in the next couple months now that spring is somewhat arrived. As always, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Be safe, take care, and have fun. Bye, guys.